Physics Unit 6. This is 6.1a number 4. This is on multimeters. Now I'm going to show you two different kinds today. The one that's quote unquote real and then the digital one. So let's look at the real ones. Um, you're going to measure three things or there are three things to measure in any circuit and that is the voltage, the resistance, and the current. So let's start with the voltage. If we were using a real um, X-Tech, which is what this looks like here, um, you would turn the dial to 20 V, right, in the voltage section. You would plug one probe into the um, V ohm amp, the other into the comm, and you would touch both probes to either side of the battery or the section of the circuit. The circuit can be connected in order to measure voltage. Over here digitally, if I had a series circuit with two bulbs all connected with wire, right, because you have to build things in order to make them go, I could measure the voltage using this little voltmeter and um, the red is positive, the black is negative. So I can put the red on either side of, um, actually, I'm gonna put a wire in here so I have a connector. Okay. So I can put the positive, following the positive line, positive on either side of this bulb and see that I have 4.5 volts. If I put it on either side of the whole thing, I have nine volts. So what's that mean? Well, that means that the voltage is dropping in between the two bulbs. The other thing that we would measure is resistance. And if we were gonna measure resistance, we would um, turn the dial to 20 ohms. That little symbol is an ohm. Again, the ports are the same, V ohm, amp, and calm and we would touch both probes to either side of the resistor. Note, there's no battery attached to this, um, but you can determine it. And that's what we're gonna do later. So here, if I wanna just put the voltmeter away, I just drop it back over there. But here, I can turn on the values and it tells me the value of each bulb. I can remove this and put in a resistor that is a 10 ohm resistor, but I could actually reduce that to no ohms or six ohms. And notice when I do, notice how those colors change. Remember how I said that resistors are color coded? So I can change the resistance of that resistor when I use it. But the only way to get resistance here is to turn on your values and actually just look at what the resistance is. Finally then, we look at the current. Um, and to measure the current, if we were going to do it physically, we would take our multimeter and turn it to 20 amps. The A stands for amps. Um, notice that the black cord always stays in the column, but now the red is moved over to the 10A. Um, and you touch both sides of the probe to either side of the resistor. The multimeter, meaning this circuit, becomes part of the circuit that you build. So when we're looking at this digitally, if I were to remove that resistor, I could use what's called an ammeter and connect it in to the circuit and it would tell me what the current was. If I take one of the bulbs out, 
I can still measure that current because I'm connected to those wires. If I take that wire out, I can still measure the current, okay? So that's how we would do it digitally.